point out that my friend Andy McCarthy just published a post at National Review making this point. Now, that doesn't mean that if, for example, she is called to testify before a committee or two, or if she has to do an FBI interview, and she's been interviewed before, what, what if they could get her on a process crime? What if she has lied? Look, this woman lied repeatedly. She lied to Andrea Mitchell, NBC News Washington, or she lied to whoever she spoke to prior to Andrea Mitchell, or she lied about Benghazi. The woman lies. The odds are, if she testifies, she might make herself vulnerable to one of these famous Martha Stewart process crimes in which it would become criminal. So it is, it is clear that there is something highly irregular here. It is very clear that the Obama administration was surveilling the Trump people. It is very clear that the purpose of the surveillance was to undermine the Trump campaign. And then it becomes very clear that the purpose of the surveillance was to undermine the presidency once Trump won it. And when I say very clear, I'm saying to me, I don't have any doubts about what went on here. And I think it's splitting hairs to say, well, they weren't really targeting Trump officials. How do you know? I mean, look at Obama owes electoral victories to this exact kind of thing. Look at all these sealed divorce decrees that Obama succeeded in getting unsealed uh, uh, about his opponents running for state senate and then United States senator. Uh, we, we know that Obama wiretapped and spied on Angela Merkel 